today I've been having fun um, creating lily-like flowers with the blooming technique. Um, so I have got some paints here and I thought I would have another go at it. Um, the last one was quite successful. I thought I would do something similar again. Things are never going to be exactly the same, which is the fun of it. So I put my base layer down, which is my Dulux satin wood um, mixed with Amsterdam white and Floetrol and water. I've made it runnier than I have in the past. This is my Payne's Grey with deep sapphire. Um, I always like to put a dark colour down for contrast. I think I might just do the order differently this time just for the fun of it. So this is the 24 karat gold which I always love and then this is garnet. The garnet in the Extreme Sheen Deco Art I find actually isn't that shiny. Um, I, I, I don't know why. It's not like the others. This is Pearl. Uh, this is Pink Tourmaline in the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Um, I am going to put yellow down again because lilies have quite a lot of yellow. This is just a flat yellow deco art. It isn't shimmery or shiny. But by the time you get all the other paints on there you will get some shimmer that will come through anyway. So what else shall I put down? <laughs> Maybe a bit more yeah, a bit more garnet. I mean, I'm not that keen particularly on the garnet, but when it mixes with everything else, it will be nice. A bit more gold. I always think you can't have too much gold. So maybe that will be it. And then this is the Amsterdam white with quite a bit of Floetrol. I don't measure things out, I just put it in. And it, none of these paints have got any water in, it's only Floetrol. The base paint is the only one with any water. So now I will do what I did last time, I will blow it into a pattern. And then I will add a little bit of green. And that's pretty much what happened last time, really. Um, I don't want to add maybe quite as much of green as I did last time. So maybe, I don't know, I think it adds quite a bit no matter what. <laughs> Once you stretch it out, you seem to get quite a lot, but that's fine. I could add a bit of yellow to it as well actually, I might do that. My thoughts had been that lilies have the little tendrily bits that come out from the centre. So that had been my thought. But actually I guess there's no reason why I couldn't just do some in the yellow. I guess... Uh, heavy-handed with that. You can't see too much of the pink at the moment. And 
And the other thing that I did was I took a stick and just took it inwards. I mean, lilies are pointy. And this doesn't make it particularly pointy. But it does just add a little bit of interest. interesting how the colours all mix together to make colours that you hadn't anticipated. There. So that has done that. I will put a torch on and we can see what bubbles pop. some very nice patterns in there so I will put some paint around the outside uh, I will cover over that little splashy bit I don't need that really and then just put some paint around the outside just to help it to stretch And now it's a point of deciding what bits I really like and would really like to keep and what bits I'm not so keen on but actually it all looks really nice at the moment. So if I add in those little bits around the edge it will just help it to stretch that little bit. I'll stick it on the corner too. So like I say, this is the Dulux Satin Wood, water-based, with Floetrol, and I have actually put quite a bit of water in it, maybe even as much as I would for a Dutch pour, simply because I find that otherwise it doesn't stretch so easily and it's just really hard work. So, <laughs> let's have a look. So I think I'll just start by stretching it a little bit and see what develops. But it does all look quite nice. Uh, yeah, there's, I'll just do it gently. In fact, there's that bit in the middle that uh, is actually sticking more than the bits around the edge. I think that is where I put my little stick in um, and touched the canvas. That's okay. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of rocking it backwards and forwards just to get it to move a little bit but each time taking it back to the centre. There are some areas that want to move more than others. This side doesn't want to move. So if I put a bit more paint down there, that will help it just to move that a little bit more. with this you know it's it's looking like a lily <laughs> which was my intention so 
I'm now going to try and move it the other way. I'm going to try and move it side to side this way. But do you know what? It's looking like a lily. <laughs> it is very nice when you have an idea in your mind of what you want the painting to look like when it's finished. And uh, it does actually resemble what you had in your mind when it's finished because it's a lot more likely that it won't look like what you had in your mind. <laughs> Very rarely do my pictures paintings look like what I had in my mind to start with. Yeah, so there's two ways that it wants to go. <laughs> it wants to go up here and out there but doesn't want to go this way and down there so maybe let's have a look try to get the weight down that way a little bit and now try and get it over that way a little bit yeah that seems to be working But you can see why I made my paint a little bit runnier than I used to because when it's too thick just trying to get it to move is such an effort. I find that I have to do it gently, little bit by little bit, because if I try to do it all at once to take it over one side, it distorts the pattern. <laughs> it's quite funny actually, because I was aiming to get it over that way, but I think we're going to go down that way instead, which is fine. If I can get this side to come over that way, that's better. Right, take it back to the middle. And let's just assess it. I've got something there, I'm not entirely sure what that is. sure at all what that is. Let me get a little stick. I don't think I have my tweezers. It is definitely some kind of globule. But that's alright, that can go. And I can put a little bit of white back over that little area. So that's fine. There. Well, this is definitely looking how I want it to look. So I don't know what to do now because I could stretch it more, but I like a lot of the bits to it. I guess I could stretch it a bit more that way. to lose the shape too much. I guess I'm hoping for that little tendril to move down and it kind of doesn't look like it wants to. more 
want to lose too much of that. I think I like the shape. I think it's very pretty. I'd say it probably does go more that way up. It does look like a lily, which is what I wanted. So I will put a torch on and we will see what colours come through. But I think I'm going to leave it like that without stretching it anymore. turn this camera off and I will tidy my edges that little bit and uh, I will show you that close up but it is really what I was aiming for so I'll just turn this off for now well here is this little 25 centimeter square canvas and I am very happy with how this has turned out. I was aiming for a lily-like shape and I'm really happy with that. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I love all these little edges and all the way those colours come together. There's a lot of shimmery colours in there with the Deco Art 24 karat gold as well, which will make it shimmer. And I love all these little dots, really love those. And I think that that's going to be lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. So I just thought I'd show you that. And that's what it looks like from above. There's not really many edges on this one. It's just that little edge. That little edge is very subtle. And then just that little edge there. And you can see I've tidied all my edges to make sure they're nice and smooth. There. there you are. So I'll let you see that when it is dry. Bye for now. Well, here we are. It is uh, about 24 hours since I did this little painting and I am very happy with it. I think I could have stretched it out more but I just really liked all the shape of it and I didn't want to lose that shape because it is lily-like which was exactly what I wanted. I'm really pleased with the centre of it I do think that that does look quite lily-like with those little tendrils. I'm glad that I did the yellow as well as the green for those. And these lovely little delicate edges. And I like the little spotty bits there. So I am very pleased with it. So I think I will definitely do some more um, in different colours. But all in all, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.